Hey, my name is Alex McIntyre here with Georgia Tech Cable Network uh, on the On the Flats program. Here with uh, catcher Joey Bart from the Georgia Tech baseball team. Coming into your junior season, uh, how are you feeling about the season coming up ahead? Oh, I'm feeling so excited. Uh, you know, as a team, we're looking so much better, and and a lot of guys have built a lot of confidence. Uh, you know, they might not have had in the past, and it's good to see. So, oh man, it's so it's it's so nice, and you can taste it today out here. You know, we're a week away, and and it'll be when the weekend's over, it'll about be here. So. Uh, how are you planning to bounce back, and how is the team planning to bounce back from last season? Oh yeah, uh, we we've taken practice a lot more seriously this year, and uh, you know a lot of guys are taking their medical treatment a lot more seriously, um, just getting their bodies ready. You know, because things happen in this game. You come out here and play every day, you're bound to tweak something. But you know, personally, uh, I feel great. I'm more than excited to get going. The thumb, groin, everything's good to go, and you know, no complaints. I'm just just excited for next Friday. So tell me a little bit about how you got into uh, playing baseball as a kid. Oh, man, my dad played uh, in college and got drafted. So I guess it's just me and my brothers would, would go out in the yard and play with ball and just mess around. Play, we played basketball, played football, played about everything that, you know, that everyone plays around here. But, uh, yeah, I, I love baseball. It was probably like football and baseball were my, my true loves. And, you know, I came to a point where I had to, I had to choose baseball, you know, and it's the best decision I ever made because I wouldn't want to be anywhere else than here. Uh, and what led you to Georgia Tech instead of any other school? Uh, Georgia Tech, you know, uh, I definitely say that my relationship with Coach Hall uh, told a lot of people he's probably probably seen every game I played about since we were 12, playing with Carter. And, uh, you know, it, just a lot of kids on my teams growing up, my summer teams were coming here. And, and uh, huge, another huge guy that's not here anymore is Brian Prince. I think, I think he doesn't deserve enough credit for, for what he did and for getting a lot of people here. But um, between Coach Hall, Prince, Carter, you know, some of the guys, P. Wiseman, Day Talk, a bunch of the guys I played with before. Um, that's what kind of got me here. So this past summer, you got a chance to play a bit with the um, the U.S. National uh, College team. How did that feel, and uh, how did you get that opportunity? Uh, it, you know, it didn't really turn out the way uh, I liked it. An injury kind of held me out of it, but uh, so it could have been better. But you know, the week I was there, it was cool, uh, different. It was good to see some some elite players. Um, to learn, you know, some different coaching styles from some of the West Coast coaches. Uh, it was cool. It was definitely a huge learning experience. Um, I'll never forget it for sure. Uh, it was a lot of fun. The respect, the amount of respect people give you, and you know, wearing the red, white, and blue is something that I don't take for granted. So yeah, I'll never forget that. So you're a junior here, business administration major. Uh, how do you balance doing school and uh, doing baseball? Oh, I mean, it's not easy. Uh, I probably should study a little more, but I've spent a lot of time at the park. But, you know, it's a lot of late nights uh, sitting there in the room with your roommates, you know, putting homework together, putting papers together. You know, we're here. I'm up in the morning and I have, I have a full class and I'm not out here till six or seven, you know. So and then I got to eat. And then, you know, you want to take a break for a second before you know it, it's nine, ten o'clock and you're starting homework, you know. So it's a, it's, it's a tough balance, especially at this school. Uh, this school is not easy, and uh, what I'm doing is not easy, and what these other guys are doing is extremely difficult too. So there's not enough respect for the guys on our team, the way they balance it out, because it's uh, not a lot of colleges have go through what we do. But it's good. I mean, if you stick to it, you'll be fine. And uh, what's been the most rewarding part of uh, playing baseball at Georgia Tech for you? Oh, man, just I think just playing, uh, playing at this level, playing in the ACC is, is a lot of fun. You know, testing your abilities, competing against some of the best of the best players. You know, the, some of the players you'll see pick first round here, and you know, in the coming draft, just playing against those kind of guys, and you know, seeing what they got, and even you know, meeting the people that come back, like Charlie Blackman, Matt Weeders, guys like this that come back and, and feed some things into our program. Uh, it's it's a, it's a great resource. We're right here in Atlanta. Um, we have a great coach. You know, the program's awesome. So you know, it, I can't complain. Like I said, it, this this has been awesome for me. Uh, what are you guys looking forward to most in this upcoming season? Oh, well, I'd say opening day. I mean, just getting out there and competing. I know they, some, some teams, uh, the polls have us, you know, way down in the, in the rankings for, for, the, for the ACC. And, and, you know, I mean, we just, I just think we're coming out with a chip on our shoulder, you know, ready to show them what we got because we got some guys and we got, we got some dudes on this team that can, can really make it happen. And I don't think we're getting enough respect. You know, obviously with our season last year, um, you can't you can't blame them for we, we finished under 500 for where we're at, but I think I think we're really just coming out with a chip on our shoulder, ready to prove you know to the ACC and to the, to, to baseball what what we can do. 
And uh, you personally, along with uh, you know, other, your other teammates, uh, Wade Bailey included, have gotten some preseason honors. Mm -hmm. um, you've been nominated as a captain for the team this year. Uh, how does that affect your outlook as a leader on the team and your outlook on the uh, the season going forward? Oh, I wouldn't say it affects any of it. Um, I always kind of thought of myself as a, as a captain of the team. You know, I, I try to be, I feel like, like, uh, like a lot of people, like Kel was saying, lead by example. Um, I feel like I come out here, people see the kind of work I put in, and, uh, and you know, it, can, it, it, it affects and it, it's what happens in the game. So, I mean, uh, you know, with the preseason stuff, like, I, I could care less about that, but it's nice. It's nice to see that people res respect what uh, your, your talents and stuff. But coming as a captain, I mean, I, my job, you know, is to get get people in line. You know, I'm a catcher, so you know, I got to kind of control the field, make sure everyone's in the right spot, and you know, on and off the field things. I'm kind of a voice for the team, so I think that's the most important part. But I'm really looking forward to it. I can't I can't say enough how excited I am. What advice would you give to uh, any young players out there who are trying to, to make it on the college circuit or get to the pros? Oh, you can, you can come and you can make it from anywhere. We've seen seen kids come from all over, come to Tech, come to other schools. Uh, I would tell you don't buy into rankings. I think it's it's, it's garbage. Um, I was I was never ranked at the top of the list. I was somewhere in there, but you know I've seen a lot of kids that were supposed to be better than me or supposed to be this or that. Or I've seen a lot of kids that were not supposed to be as good as other players that really rose to the top, you know, so uh, you can make it from anywhere, um, from the smallest schools, Division II, junior college, you know what I'm saying, I, I just give it my all. If you love to play, you love to play, and you'll, you'll, you'll be found. There's, you know, you won't get left behind if you can play, so. Well, thanks again to Joey Bart for joining me. Joey, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And good luck with the rest of the season. Thank you.